Hey everybody, this is Dark Guardsman. We're back with another modding tip of the day. So still gonna need more practice, of course, doing these, but we're just gonna go right into this. Uh, you'll probably see this one posted actually on the 30th rather than the 29th in which it's being recorded. I just figured get them both done today and then I can pop this one out and put it up there on tomorrow. Not even gonna try to hide the fact, uh, but since I've got the time and date posted at the bottom. In the future though, these will very likely no longer show the time and date, uh, although we'll still probably put the song in the bottom corner. Uh, but we're gonna get into this one. So this is another modding tip of the day. Always keep asking why. This is something that you probably actually have been told before in some kind of class, probably a science class, where they always tell you to keep asking questions. It's a very important thing, kind of a very broad uh, subject because a lot of people don't end up actually applying it even though it actually is applied to everything. Like everything you ever do in life, this can help you um, actually get better at doing things, learn more, everything else. It's not necessarily a point to always be bugging somebody asking questions, so this is not a, a thing we're saying go up to somebody and keep asking them why, why, and why. That's annoying, don't do that, don't take the by door wrong. The ideal behind asking why is more of an internal thought process. You want to keep asking yourself why this thing, why that thing, why such and such. And it's not just applied to the concept of modding or the concept of learning things. The, the very question of asking why uh, can actually help you learn a lot about yourself, a lot about the way you think, a lot about the way you do things. It can even help you get through rough times and everything else. It's actually helped me quite a bit when I've had trouble kind of understanding something that happened tragically and I slowly worked my way through it and you keep asking some questions and, and such and such. Uh, but here I, I put some very simple questions up here. These ones actually do apply to modding pretty simplistically so if you don't really want to deal with the whole broader subject and want to focus just down on modding, uh, pay attention to some of these questions and of course you can invent your, yourself your own questions. But generally when you make code these are the two questions you always see. There's actually a meme out there that you'll find that goes, uh, my code works, I have no clue why, my code doesn't work, I have no clue why. Um, and these are two questions you always want to ask when you're working on something. Why does it work? Why doesn't it work? And these will lead you into more questions and you'll get some answers. You'll, you'll actually start to figure out uh, why your code does the things it does. Um, and then you want to top those off with these other two questions. Why is it made this way? Why is it not made some other way? These are more advanced ones. So you can, you can think of these as your basic ones. You can then think of these as your advanced ones. And then you can think of these kind of, I wouldn't call these ones the expert ones. These ones actually can go down with basic as well. But asking at least why something is made or why it's uh, not made the way it is, is kind of very important. It actually keeps you from tripping yourself up and getting stuck into a thought process of kind of picking one method and sticking with it to the end of time. Uh, some people have a tendency to do this. I've even caught myself doing it. For example, I'm not a big fan of lambdas, even though I do use them. I like to use for loops a lot. And you can actually see this in my code if I can find a really good example of this. And let's bounce around real quick and see if we can maybe find a spot for this. I know the easiest place to look would be, of course, the recipe handling. So I tend to use for loops a lot, but you have lambdas, which are the alternative, and they're completely different. But I have a tendency to use one method over the other just out of personal taste but asking myself why I do this and why I don't use the other method is actually important it teaches me um, it helps reveal my thought process it helps trip me out of um, doing something simply because I want to do it if you ever if you ever answer a question why was just because you haven't actually answered the question you've pretty much just decided to say you don't want to answer the question which there's nothing wrong with it it's just you want to know whether or not you're answering the question or failing to answer the question but i can ask myself why i use a for loop in this case i'm using a for loop simply because i like for loops and they look okay so in this it, it's easy to read you can see the for loop you can see this and this has a lot to do with my uh nitpickiness about readability that i like to be able to read the code and be able to understand the code quickly because reading a lambda it's a little harder to read now if you're very familiar i mean like absolutely incredibly familiar with lambdas this looks really nice to you because you know we're doing a stream we're matching any and we're just running a very simple question of is component and we're done but this looks a little fugly to me and i ask myself that question of why why does it look fugly to me why does i don't i not like it and everything else why am i doing it this way and not another way and so on and so on these are important questions and what's also important is to ask why something is important and why something is important to yourself um, and there's a reason why there's a difference to this you can ask why something is important and you can tell yourself that this is important because the world expects me to do this or this is important because it's the correct way to do this or this is important because the system is not designed for this versus other thing 
And those are valid reasons, but then you have to ask, why is it important to you? Why do you put a weight on uh, something needing to be important? Why is worrying about what the world thinks important to you? Why is doing it the standard way important to you? Why is so on and so on? You keep asking these questions over and over again. And they actually do help you solve problems. They actually will reveal to you a lot of different things. They'll reveal to you what you're doing, what, what to, uh, you do not know. How do you think? It answers, asking, simply asking the question why will answer just about all of this to you and will kind of slowly give you the answers because all the answers are there. You just simply have to ask for them and so on and so on. I didn't really script this out very well, but we're getting somewhere. But more importantly, because I know this is more on the philosophical side, this is kind of the way I wanted to keep it, but we can give a really good example of this. So. When working on atomic science, I actually use this a lot. I ask why things are certain ways they are and why they're this way and that way. So when bug fixing this setup, because this is the setup that I'm currently testing and prototyping to kind of check the balance of all the recipes in atomic science, make sure that we actually are getting something that is usable and you start figuring out things. Like I ask, why am I seeing so much dust in here? Why shouldn't I be seeing a ton of dust in here? There's actually two sides of this question that you can answer. So it's like, well, I don't want to see a lot of dust in here because it may be perceived as overpowered. Then you go, okay, why is that important? Because somebody's going to make a mod pack that um, may perceive that as overpowered and then complain to me. So it's not so much, I actually care if it's overpowered, I care what somebody else thinks. And that reveals to me like, oh, I may not actually need to worry about this. This may actually be something that's not my problem. Of course, I am going to fix it because it is actually my problem. But uh, you can run into certain situations. You can go, okay, why does the GUI laid out this way? Why is it not laid out a different way? Why do I not have icons? Why do I do have icons? Why are the tanks this way versus another way? And of course, the tanks are purely this way because I like the look of them. Um, and they're buildcraft inspired. They're like ancient, basically. Uh, but you start asking other things like, why were you making the model this way? Why the pipes not connect? And you simply go through questions and they start giving you answers. They start giving you answers about your design, what you can do, what you, you shouldn't do. Um, what things you actually care about. Like, for example, I look at the pipe and go, well, that pipe looks ugly. Why do I care if it look, looks ugly? Because it doesn't look like it's connected. Is it important it's connected? Nah, not really. The connection just looks visually bad, and people will work around that in their own uh, regard, because you can actually hook up a pipe at the top, and it doesn't look too bad when you hook up from the top. You can also hook it up from the bottom, and you also do this really cool thing where you just put these two next to each other, and they'll output uh, to each other. So there's a little cool tricks you can get around that. It's, it's, it's important enough that it visually looks bad, but it's not important enough to spend a whole bunch of time actually working on. I know that's probably really bad advice because if you can fix visual problems like this and you have the time, go ahead, take your time, fix and make it look really beautiful. Uh, I actually do plan to eventually come through here and actually fix up some of these models just a little bit to make the pipe connection look just a little bit better. For example, bringing this back and everything else. And those are questions you answer with the, the question why. Like, why should I do it? Why does it matter? You can also ask, why did I pick this priority versus over this pri uh, priority? Why am I doing this thing versus the other thing? A lot of questions you can ask that will actually teach you really basic things. And failing to kind of ask them, because to be honest, there is times when questions are not the most important thing to ask. There may be times when you're in a situation where asking questions probably is not the brightest ideal, but there are qu times when you do need to ask. And when you're working on software, ask a lot of questions. It's very important. You'll learn a lot and you'll get through a lot of things. Even in your daily life, ask questions um, that you want to do is like, why am I buying soda, junk food? Why am I not buying real food? Real food? Why am I eating this or another thing? Like for example, my brother asked me, why am I eating pizza? And it's like, I enjoy pizza. That's the simplest question ever. And the answers can be really simple. Uh, I, you can decide just really basic answers for them and just stick with it. Um, well, you don't have to stick with it, you can adapt, but you can get a lot out of those questions that reveals a lot about yourself, about what you're doing, about what you think about the world, and this helps expand your 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 mind a little bit and actually get through and you can build on what you know. Uh, it's like a big thing, a really big example of why this is important. So before I went to college, I actually didn't know a lot about myself. I didn't really have what you would call a sense of identity. So I knew I was a person I knew kind of what I liked and everything else, but that was about it. I didn't really have a political opinion. I really didn't have an opinion about a lot of things. I didn't really think of myself as the hero or the villain. I didn't think of myself as an ordinary person or somebody special or so on and so on. And how you really do solve a lot of these identity problems is you actually just start asking very basic questions like, what is your favorite food? It happens to be pizza. 
what is your favorite color? It happens to be orange. And you keep going through like very basic things like that. Like you start asking, do you like boots or shoes? Do you like to wear certain things? Do you like to go to certain places? Do you enjoy, for example, partying and everything else? And I figured out I actually didn't enjoy partying. It just it feels something weird to me. Uh, but you end up figuring that stuff out. And that's how asking the question why I could help you in real life. And then, of course, encoding and modding and everything else can do everything else. But always ask those questions, and uh, I'll be back here later talking more about other subjects like this, and hopefully this wasn't just me rambling the entire time uh, as I tried to turn this into at least a decent video, but we'll definitely come back on the subject another time and expand upon it in a little bit better format.